Thanks, Scott. Arkansas State University is putting the final preparations in place here inside Centennial Bank Stadium as they prepare for around 1100 soon to be graduates to walk across the stage tomorrow morning to receive their diploma. Now the university says there will be a few changes put in place this year compared to commencements in the past. That is one change for our spring is that we will have one event starting at 10 a.m. in the stadium. And uh, we're looking forward to it because it's just sort of an exciting place to have commencement, to enjoy the celebration of their graduates, but also to uh, remain uh, aware of the need to, to keep some COVID precautions in place. The university will not require tickets for the ceremony, a policy they have used for the past two commencements. Now Smith says attendees will not be able to park on the grass near the football stadium. However, all residential parking lots on campus will be open. Now Arkansas State is asking all attendees to wear a face covering when they are entering and leaving the stadium in crowded areas and when they are conversing in groups that do not include their family members. They're also asking people to socially distance when seated in the stands. Now one first generation college student and graduate says they've been waiting a long time for this moment. I look forward to graduation most importantly because we don't have to reduce the capacity. I can invite all of my family members so we're just so excited to celebrate this very monumental moment. With being a first generation college student there are so many struggles that happen um, at school and also like personally and the idea that I was able to persevere throughout everything just means so much to me and my family. Now there is rain in the forecast for tomorrow morning and Smith says they do have a backup plan that would postpone graduation to Sunday. However, he says they don't plan to make any changes to the event unless there are thunderstorms and lightning. Sarah Doan, Northeast Arkansas News, Jonesboro. Back to you, Scott.